There you go. You're good. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Emmanuel World Council meeting. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> All right, everyone's present tonight, and Shana is going to be on our meeting through Zoom. Um, on personal appeals part one, Jonas. If anyone has a personal appeal, go to the podium. All right, hearing none, we'll do the Zoom. Our parole manager will unmute everyone. And if you wish to make a public appeal, please state your name, where you're from, and what your appeal is. And you can do that now. Hearing none, we'll move on to Community Minute. Does anybody have anything to bring forward for Community Minute? Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, oh, yeah, let me go mute. back and unmute, unmute Jonas and Shannon. Okay. Councilwoman, just a quick shout out to the Arts Commission and the volunteer artists on the for the Painter Hydrant project this year. As you've all seen, there's so many of them, they look fabulous. They even have coordinated with their location in some And they have decided that the next phase will be spring of 2021. And Mr. Pepe, I have commented to you before that we uh, will also adopt a hydrant. So that will be also available. Okay. Um, so if anybody wants to apply as a volunteer artist, they can go on to NSArts.org. That's great. Anybody else? Hearing none, uh, special presentation. We have an old-fashioned Christmas presentation by Ashley. Hello. I'm going to take this time to also thank Mr. Pepe for a couple other things. I don't think I ever said thank you for your time, Kirk, and um, Letting us join for the concert series this summer, so they part of that series will come together socially distance. I just wanted to say thank you for working with us on the reverse housing phrase. While it did not come to fruition, um, it's still nice to work with you guys try and make that happen. Small um, Business Saturday is November 28th. May is Main Street Partners will be giving out tote bags again this year. It was um, coupons, tchotchkes. Samples, free items, in them to community members as a way to physically get downtown and ideally walking around with the bags. Um, we do that we have money here. Also, trying to implement a virtual aspect so people who don't feel comfortable walking around or still want to support and visit that don't have a supporter can participate. Um, so, we'll be sending out a schedule of live shows that they'll be doing on social media. We are also launching our Holly Jolly Shopping Trail on Fall into Saturday. I'm very excited about this. So we've gotten feedback from businesses that yes, the trails are great to get people in the door, but it's not they're not seeing money being spent, at least not right then and there. Hard to hard to test or hard to see who comes back from the trail to spend money. So the Holly Jolly Shopping Trail is going to be a, a month long event where people can take receipts from any business they've spent money with in the borough, they'll write their name and phone number on the back and drop it in one of three boxes that I'll be placing around the borough um, at local businesses. And at the end of the month we'll draw random receipts for when to win prizes. Um, so it'll be like gift cards and things like that, but the grand prize is a Napoleon grill donated from Sutton and Sons. Um, and the idea is just to spend money here in the borough from Small Business Saturday. We'll be drawing winners on December 23rd. So I appreciate you spreading more about that. And then for Old Fashioned Christmas, just wanted to come in and follow up from our conversation last time, uh, make sure I kind of closed the loop on a lot of things. So letters were delivered to businesses and residents around the Triangle and down Railroad Street. Um, about the Triangle's ancient artery being closed and also the potential for Forest Street to be closed. I laid out that it was up to PANDA 
for now. We're waiting to hear back from them. Um, I, I personally can't deliver them um, this past Friday. We had insurance from Rainier, Rainier vendor, <laughs> and a meeting with the Department of Agriculture or Animal Safety tomorrow um, to look at spot for that. We haven't heard back yet from Forest, from Penda about the forest reclosure, um, as far as I'm aware. We are still doing the Cheers Trail. We unfortunately won't be doing Candy Cane Lane this year. That is the kids' trail where they decorate ornaments um, at different historic sites. Our historic sites are mainly staffed by older volunteers um, who don't feel comfortable, and a lot of the locations are smaller and don't, can't really accommodate uh, social distancing. So unfortunately, we won't be doing that. But let's play books and the library or have a kids' activity, so we're going to go over there. Um, of course, we'll have things for kids on forward seven characters, relighting Santa. Um, there won't be pictures of Santa this year, but that's a little too close. But he will be making us visit. And then we will be doing a hayride. There's only be maybe 10 people out on the hayride. So um, we're looking forward to bringing people together, kind of celebrating the holidays, but we're doing a lot to maintain distance, right? And then the last thing I want to talk about was our veterans banners. Um, they do public works for putting those up and pulling them down. We had great response from family members and community members about it. And um, working with care, not the word man. Um, we are looking to do a second round. So I've applied through um, Tenda for additional full banner arms on um, along Harrison Street. We're hoping to expand it, um, and that really wouldn't take place in 2022. So, any questions about homeless and Saturday, and we'll talk to Christmas, Saturday, the owners? Anybody? No, thank you for coming in, Ashley. Yes. Thank you for the update. Of course. Thank you, Ashley. We have the meeting minutes to approve from November 2nd. Is everybody on a motion to approve the uh, motion by Councilman Valley, second by Councilman Hart? Any uh, corrections or additions on the minutes? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven ayes. We have no decisions on bids. We received two. Uh, communications request for a reappointment to the Mass Arts Commission from Tara and Toro. Um, committee is that Well, I would, I, unless you want to, you know, redo everybody that that's applying. I don't see any reason not to just move forward with her. No, that's not asking, but I mean, uh, that would that would fall under probably CRD. All right. So, some somebody from CRD has to make a motion to reappoint Tara Santoro and her. Uh, It'd be ten sixteen of twenty three. Councilwoman McMahon, second by Councilman Andrews. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven eyes. Karen yeah, has three more years with the first speech. Then we received a nice letter from a uh, former council uh, member, Mike Waddell. And uh, his neighbor had a, an issue where he was up in the tree with the ladder. The ladder kind of got messed up a little bit. He was hanging in the tree. Uh, Mike tried to help him. He called our uh, fire department, the police were there. Um, fire department, he said they were there fast. They took care of it. He was amazed at how calm and collective they were. And just nothing but compliments for all our uh, uh, safety, basically all our safety uh, departments. So that's nice to hear. He also, if you open it up, there's a couple pictures there. Uh, no oral engineers report, solicitors report. 
I have no report, Mr. President, progress. Thank you. Unfinished with business part one, we have the second reading of ordinance 1205. Uh, the first reading was October 19th. And ordinance 1205 is ordinance amending the provisions of chapter one, part one, subsection one through 105, tax collectors compensation of the borough demands, consolidated code of ordinances to amend the rate of compensation and commission for the borough demands real estate tax collector. So that's the ordinance. Would somebody like to make a motion to approve ordinance 1205? Councilman Dufresne, seconded by Councilman Hart. All right. Does anybody have any comments on this? Um, we want to review what the changes are. I mean, we covered it last yeah, in October. We covered it in October. So, all right. With that being said, it is a roll call vote. Uh, Councilwoman Von Gartner. Aye. Councilwoman McManaman. Aye. Councilman Andrews. Aye. Councilman Valley. Aye. Councilman Hart. Aye. Councilman Dufresne. Aye. Councilman Labor. Aye. There are seven ayes. Ordinance 1205 passes on second reading. Under new business, we have three new ordinances. We have ordinance 1206. Uh, ordinance of the Burley Mass Land County of Pennsylvania, amending chapter 15, subsection 602.3.A of the Mass Borough Code, by adding a residential disabled parking sign and assigning a permitted parking spot on the public street located in front of. 38 North 6th Street within the borough of Emmaus. Um, somebody have to make the motion to approve Ordinance 1206. Councilman Hart, seconded by Councilwoman McManaman. Um, these show up once in a while. We have two tonight. The uh, residents are allowed to apply for a uh, disabled parking spot. And this is for 38 North 6th Street. So, Councilman Hart. I think it's worth mentioning uh, two things. Number one, that this is our first request for an individualized parking space specific to an entity as permitted under our new ordinance, right. as permitted under law 2007. Uh, secondly, uh, police in looking at the area determined that it was not safe put this space in front of the house because of the proximity to the intersection. It suggested that it at the gate, which is next door. So that's where it's going to be. Thank you. Any other comments? This is also a roll call vote. Uh, Councilwoman Bob Gordon. Aye. Councilwoman McMahon. Aye. Councilman Anders? Aye. Councilman Valley? Aye. Councilman Hart? Aye. Councilman Dufresne? Aye. Councilman Laidberg? Aye. There are seven ayes. The second reading will be in December at some point. Uh, first meeting of December. We have three weeks between meetings, so we, we should be able to get all the ordinances on the second on the second uh, reading. Seventh or sixth? December 7th. All right. Ordinance 1207 is the same or, or um, well, it's basically the same thing, but I'll read it. An ordinance of the borough of Mayas, the county has been here many more. It's 204, chapter 15, subsection 602.2.a of the Mayas Borough Code, removing a residential disabled parking sign on Public Street, located in front of 637 Walnut Street within the borough of Mayas. Well, it's not the same, it's removing one. Um, would somebody like to make a motion to approve ordinance 1207? Councilman Hart, seconded by Councilman Anders. Any discussion on this? Only to have a bit of individual originally was approved for getting on her house as uh, soon as possible. Oh, okay. Thank you, and sorry to hear that. Um, so, this is a roll call vote also. Uh, any other comments? Councilwoman Bob Gardner? Aye. Councilwoman McMahon? Aye. Councilman Anders? Aye. Councilman Dalliot? Aye. Councilman Hart? Aye. Councilman Dufresne? Aye. Councilman Labor? Aye. There are seven ayes. That will also be a uh, second reading on December 7th. We have ordinance 1208 
In an ordinance amending Chapter 1, Section 504 of the codified ordinances, the Broly Minister of the County of Pennsylvania establishing the rank and position of the Deputy Chief of Police. Uh, this came from the Safety Committee. Uh, would you like to explain or talk to us about this? I can provide uh, as a result of Chief Palmer's retirement next May, the committee and the mayor uh, discussed what, how the trans, uh, transition would occur. And as a result, it was felt to be in the best interest of the smooth transition to create this particular job description to allow someone within the department of corporate memory to be in that position, help uh, transition to whoever we choose as the chief. Uh, probably to Thank you. Uh, with that being said, would somebody like to make a motion to approve 1208? Councilman Hart, seconded by Councilman DeFrame. Any discussion or questions? Also, a roll call vote. Councilwoman Bob Gardner. Aye. Councilwoman. Amendment. Aye. Councilman Anders? Aye. Councilman Valiant? Aye. Councilman Hart? Aye. Councilman Dufresne? Aye. Councilman Labor? Aye. There are seven ayes. Um, do we have to have two readings? It doesn't say anything. Yeah, so that's second reading, second reading at the same time. December 7th. Okay. Yeah. Under unfinished business part two, we have nothing. Does anybody have anything to bring forward under items not on the agenda? Hearing none, Mayor's report. Thank you. I have another report this evening. All report progress. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Committee reports. We have Public Works Committee Chairman Anders. Yes, I have one item for additional action this evening. Uh, we recently have held interviews for a full time Public Works employee. And uh, upon reviewing the candidates and having our interviews, uh, we are proud to uh, put um, the question Jermaine. 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 Jermaine Hussett. Um, to full time and the full time public works position, continue upon successful completion of background and probationary period. Uh, this pay will be in accordance with 90% of the contract rate. So I'll put that in the form of the motion. There's a motion by Councilman Anders, there's a second by Councilman Valiant. Any discussion? I'll just say that all three uh, interviews were. Um, well, let's just say we're looking forward to having them on the force bench on the department. So, um, that being said, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven ayes. Uh, I did want to note that uh, Mr. Pepe hired Reeds. Reeds? No. 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 Go to your next agenda item. Let me rephrase that Mr. Pepe hired Val Seidler as the part time um, employee. My, my apologies. Um, his best is pay assistant per hour to do a successful share back. Thank you. With that, I will regretfully report the first contract. It's all right. You're good. We don't it's all good. We're glad you yeah. It's all good. <laughs> Just kidding. Bro. No harm. All right. No Health, harm. Sanitation, and Codes Committee, <laughs> Chairman Valiant. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, tonight, uh, also uh, excited about the uh, hire of the council uh, for approval, and that is for a position of full time as uh, code officials. Uh, we received almost 200 applications and conducted two rounds of interviews. Uh, all were great candidates. Uh, so, with this, I would like to make a motion to hire. Ralph uh, Hammond uh, at a prorated amount of $60,000 a year salary, uh, also pending a background check. So I'd like to put that in the form of a motion. There's a motion by Councilman Valley, a second by Councilman Hart. Any discussion? Um, I, I, I just want to say I, I'm extremely excited about all these hires. And this one was, again, um, you know, we had three very good candidates, and the top two. Uh, could have gone either way in that interview. I mean, it was, it was, uh, they were both very good. Um, and, 
I, I think they're I, I think the person that the committee selected, I think is going to be, he's a borough resident, first of all, and which, you know, is great. I mean, you always, you always like to see that, but I think he's going to be here uh, for a long time. I, I think that's really his goal. Um, and he's excited and he's, you know, he's in the building trade. So I, I don't think we're going to have issues with him obtaining the certifications that he needs. So I, I'm extremely excited about this potential hire. Great. Any other comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven ayes. Well, Mr. President, we will have no meeting uh, uh, this month. Our next meeting will be uh, December 30th, 430 at Fort Progress. Thank you. Parks and Recreation Committee, Chairwoman Bonkler. I have nothing to report for official action. Um, we did have cancel our November meeting because of budget workshop. And I realize now as well that we'll have to cancel our December 1st meeting for the same reason. So I report progress. Thank you. Public Safety Committee, Chair, uh, Chairman Hart. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, you have already taken care of three of my actions uh, regarding ordinances for the park and the creation of public position on the deputy chief of police. Related to the deputy chief of police is the job description, which is included back in that position. Uh, so questions for that is formal. There's a motion by Councilman Hart. Is there a second? Councilwoman uh, McMahon. Any discussion on the job description? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven ayes. Mr. President, we would, uh, as a result of that, we would like to uh, post a deputy chief position in that process. Motion by Councilman Hart, second by Councilman Lebrain. Any discussion on posting the job? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven ayes. With that, uh, you know, next week is scheduled December 14th. Thank you, General Administration Committee. As myself, we uh, interviewed three architect firms. Um, what was going to be a little less than three hour meeting turned into close to four hour meeting uh, because they were all very qualified. And we had a robust debate over whom we uh, should have. So we decided to go with WTA. Two, W2A. Uh, W2A, Architectural Services, and uh, for an amount of $269,000, which happened to be the lowest. Um, there was five applicants, if you believe, and we threw two out because the cost was Way, way too high for this for okay. And then the other three were similar uh, in range. And after the interviews and discussion and debate, we, we recommend W2A. So, does somebody like to put that in the form of a motion? Councilman Dufresne, seconded by Councilman Valley. Any discussion or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven eyes. Uh, next meeting is this Thursday at 9 a.m. on Zoom. Budget and Finance Committee, Chairman DeFrank. Thank you, Mr. President. We have one item for action tonight Resolution 2020 39, resolved by Borough Council to authorize payment of the November 16, 2020 bill list as follows Bill list $262,171.60. Payroll number 23, $147,460.14. Payroll tax is $47,233.25 for a total of $456,864.99 done in the 16th of November 2020. Motion by Councilman DeFranc, second by Councilman Hart. Any questions or discussion? I have a question. On page 30, there was a $550 fee from Whitetail for excessive trash. 
Yeah, and I, I know what it's for. Somebody obviously put too much out. No, it's not. No, um, that is that is because we we had to send them to help us clean up a property, is what that was. So that that pro that will be paid by be a lien. by a lien or or a okay. fee against the. the I owner. assumed it was something tied. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Uh, is that the first time we've done that with white tail? Um. I believe I believe in that case it is. Yeah, okay. I believe it is. Any other question? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven ayes. Which is significantly more expensive than the first half of the winter. Uh, I put the director out last week. This is Thursday, November 19th at 11 a.m. And unless you make questions, there are four progress. Thank you. Community Relations Planning and Development, Mr. Chairwoman McMenamin. Thank you, Mr. President. Nothing for official action this evening, although I would like to make sure everyone reads the meeting notes from our most recent meeting. We are working on a couple of things behind the scenes that we're not ready to uh, actually report on yet, but um, some exciting and interesting uh, projects uh, with Jessica Hub and um, the triangle event coming up. Um, our next meeting is scheduled for December 14th at 4.30. I report back. Thank you. We have a junior council member report. Jonas. Hi. Uh, so the high school has been closed for the past six days due to the coronavirus, and it will stay closed until December 1st. Uh, picture day was scheduled for tomorrow. I don't know how that will work. And the school district is currently experiencing a district-wide phone outage. So, um, and that's all I really have to report on. Uh, and with that, I report progress. Thank you, Jonas. Mr. President, we have Mr. Jones, got the tree grant from the- uh, Councilman Valley is asking if we got the tree grant. Um, he's asking me to ask because he he knows you probably can't hear in this microphone. Did you hear me, Jonas? Oh, oh, okay. Do you um, know if you got the, the tree grant? I have not gotten anything for the tree grant. Um, I think Shane put the grant in his name. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's that's correct. We we don't have an answer yet. Okay. They're still trying. They're figuring out how to sign GT Real Muto right now. They don't care about trees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, progress. Yeah, we have boards and commission uh, meeting notes. We have the zoning and planning commission, so I think the zoning hearing board and the planning commission, and the Davis Main Street program. Personal appeals part two. Does anybody have an appeal? Uh, Royal manager. Well, we're gonna Shane will unmute and. If you have an appeal, just please state your name and where you're from and make your appeal. We also want them on video. Anybody have an appeal? All right, hearing none, you can mute them again. All right, hold on, let me bring back um, Jonas and Sharon. Okay. All right, borough manager's report. Um, just a couple of things. Uh, first of all, uh, the Public Works Department continues to work on dredging uh, Library Creek. Um, you know, we've saved several hundred thousand dollars by doing the work ourselves, and they've done a very good job. So um, that that uh, if you haven't been down there to to look at it, we've obviously been taking photos, so we'll, we'll share them with you. Um, you know, ran into a little bit of a problem with uh, first of all, it's sucking up. Uh, gasoline, you know, like crazy to keep the pump running and the and the generator going. So uh, we did run into one one or two malfunction issues there, and um, uh, so you know when that happens, the pump stops, the water keeps coming. So it's it's another um, you know having to wait for it to dry out again. And we had a bunch of rain uh, over the weekend that uh, that kind of slowed it down so you know we're dealing with we're just having to deal with weather as we're as we're going through the process but uh overall it's going you know relatively smoothly um the other thing is uh uh the roofing contractor 
uh, or roofing consultant, excuse me, and our and our guys were uh, outside uh, on this roof this morning, um, starting to clear uh, the heavy lifting and, and work uh, as far as clearing stones will start tomorrow. Uh, and the hope is that the roof will be done by the end of this week. So that's, that's good news because it only leaks every time it rains. Um, and if you've seen the garbage can we have downstairs, uh, it definitely took a beating uh, over the weekend. So uh, we're excited to, to get that work done. The only other thing that I'll talk to you about is, um, you know, there are a couple emails going back and forth and I think we need to have the conversation uh, about uh, our meetings moving forward, uh, as well as town hall being open uh, to the public meeting uh, moving forward. And I know that there's probably some different opinions on that. So, you know, I, I think I'd like to have a, a brief conversation about that if, if we could. Um, I think the one thing that I'll say is our audience tonight is a reporter and Ashley. Um, and, and thank you for coming. Um, but, you know, we, we've, we've had a, a fairly large online um, uh, presence uh, for quite some time. Um, so it's not, it's not like we've been filling this room up since March. Going back 100% to virtual isn't going to, to me, I don't think it's going to hurt anything. As Ashley has spent more than her share of time uh, on our virtual uh, uh, platform. Um, our police station and our fire station have both shut down to the public again. As you're aware, we are at a higher caseload right now um, with positive tests than what we were during the entire time we were shut down in the spring. So it brings up the concern among our employees, especially of, you know, whether or not we should really have our doors open uh, considering uh, you know, that the, the cases continue to rise. And that's a decision for you, you know, really to, to help, help make again. So I'm looking for your feedback on, on both those cases, whether or not we should be continuing to meet in person for our public meetings and whether or not we should keep, you know, Borough Hall open to the public. So I'm looking for feedback from, well, from the bosses. Um, my opinion for meetings is, it's keep it optional like it is now. Shannon chose to be at home tonight. Others can do the same. That's my opinion on that. If you're referring to the public, that hasn't been an issue right now. But that's my opinion on that. And as far as the office closing the um the lobby, I don't care one way or the other. But if you do decide to close it, I think we should pick a starting date and do a robocall. And that's my only thing that I would okay. request. So I don't care if we do or not. Absolutely. Okay. So as, as far as the building, I feel if our employees are uncomfortable and there are potential risks, as we know there could be, um, I think we should listen to employees at this time and make sure that they are Again, we can still provide, I, I'm assuming, drop offs at the rest of the downstairs. Yeah, we would still, I, I think, you know, allowing people to come in via appointment is important, you know, right. especially people that, that, you know, are trying to get some kind of construction project at their house done or, or something where they really need that one on one, you know, consultation. So I would, I would need more in that direction. I agree that you're, you're right. We should get a notice. Um, Robert Paul, probably the best we probably should be beside that. So I think that would be good to uh, provide that. As far as the Zoom meetings, we've done them. Um, we, have the, we have a platform. Whatever you all are comfortable with, um, I, I think you're either way. From my opinion, well, on the call, Find it here or not, you have a platform, so it doesn't matter. Either. Okay. Other people? I'd like to see Borough Hall closed, same protocols in place. Um, I could go either way on Zoom, but I feel that if, if our cases are increasing, why not just Zoom? We get just as productive um, on Zoom as we are in person, and there's nothing that I don't see a benefit to person. Um, at this point, but I will, I will go. Well, Shane would be lonely. 
Struggling to understand closing the building by no one's going to be sitting out there and we have a motion to sit here ourselves. Uh, I did it soon, but it's best part. Okay. Um, I'm good with my appointment only for Pearl Hall. Okay, well, that's enough. Shannon, okay. get decided. Do you guys, I mean, do you guys want to take a vote and, and, and do it that way? How do you want to handle it? Um, someone, do you want to make a motion that we say something? Oh, yeah, go ahead, I'm sorry, Sharon. Oh, All right, right. she supports Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just going to say, I couldn't hear what everybody said. It sounded like there was a general consensus for closing the borough. Is that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I, yes, I'm okay with that, especially if the staff is already growing concerned and winter is always a time when we tend to have increased illnesses anyway. Um, so we don't want to mess with that. Uh, so I'm, I concur with that. Um, in terms of meeting as a council, I don't see any added benefit to meeting in person necessarily. I think it actually, for those uh, joining online, um, including the media, it's actually helpful when we're all online if we are participating um, because it's difficult to hear. So it's easier, I think, to communicate all online. Um, and I don't think there's an added benefit to meeting in person. So I'm, I'm in favor of, point, of, Shannon, of, of hearing everybody if we're going to do Zoom, we can hear everybody then. Um, Shane, if I ask for a motion starting this on Monday, would that be an appropriate time to start it? Uh, yeah, I, I, I think so. Um, I'm, I'm fine with that. I, I'm fine with And then you know, we could, time to put a robocall together and get that up. I mean, a robocall can be done within a day. So if you want to start earlier, Friday, yeah, if, if, uh, Saturday or Thursday, we start Saturday, start Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> shut down Saturday. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, Thursday. I would, I would want to give the public, you know, a little bit of notice, maybe Thursday. All right. So is there a motion to, um, Close down Borough Hall for appointment only starting Thursday. Granted, we can get the robocall out. If it's not, if we can't get that out, I don't know. Delay it to Friday. Uh, Councilwoman McManaman, second. Councilman Dufresne, any more discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? So, so the only thing that I'll, I'll ask is, I mean, I, I guess we'll just play it by ear as far as the length of time and, and we'll just keep revisiting. I would imagine you know, when the cases come down, yeah, that's well, when we revisit. I mean, it could be, it could be through the end of the, the year, it could be through winter, but I, I think it's probably best just to play it by ear right now. Yeah, the numbers are open when I count. Yeah. So, um, and as far as the meetings, I don't know if we need to have a vote, we'll just do so. What do you think? You don't need a meeting. Uh, a, a motion, because uh, uh, we're already doing it Zoom. It's just everybody's agreeing to do it on Zoom. So we'll. we'll um, my understanding of the consensus, though, then is that this building will not be open. I will post that this building will not be open. Uh, our advertisements will continue like they are, with the the legal ad being the way that it was was written, um, and that it would be one hundred percent virtual. The only thing um, would be, I know that we have a couple job interviews coming up, um, I think this week, that are going to be in person yet. Um, but then moving forward, we'll keep everything on the uh, on the Zoom platform. So they're by yeah, they're by appointment. So. Everyone good? Yeah. Progress? Yes, that'll be, I, I will report progress. And under President's business, I report progress also. Motion to adjourn. Councilman Valiant, seconded by Councilwoman McManaman. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. Meeting adjourned at 740. All right. Let me stop the recording. So I don't